Welcome back guys, back at it again with another reactions video. My name is Angel, today I'm going to be reacting to Canelo Alvarez, Brutal Chaos. Let me know what you guys think of the video, if you like the content, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos I should react to. Canelo Alvarez is one of my favorite fighters. With all that being said, let's get to the video. Yeesh. Right at each other, and there's some good work by Alvarez. Three nice right hands and an uppercut. Some of Alvarez's better work in the fight. And he stunned Gonzalez. Gonzalez hurt for the first time in the fight, and there it is. It's over. Just like that. A surprise, sudden ending. And so Alvarez. This was when Canelo was young. Opportunity. Right? against Jerry Gonzalez, who looks like he still can't believe it. Alvarez suddenly found three right hands, an uppercut, and worked through Gonzalez. Miguel Cotto. Jose Miguel Cotto. I read that wrong. I was like, Miguel Cotto, and I looked at him, I was like, that doesn't look like Miguel Cotto. <laughs> That's a different one. They tricked me on that one. <laughs> that shit's funny. Body language by Baldemir here. Oh boy, Baldemir might be ready to go. He might, and he's gone. Canelo knocks out the 39 year old. He's not going to get up. Anytime a fighter fire, falls face first, it's over. And it is over. Canelo Alvarez gets the knockout. He's so. Now that. Yeah, this was a time when. Uh... Canelo was coming That's up. How you make your presentation on the big stage. He's been mentioned in some big level fights. He's been mentioned as maybe coming onto the undercard of Mayweather, Victor Ortiz in September. A lot in front. Marcelo Alvarez as he tries to dispose of Brian Rhodes, and he did it. What's the exclamation point? On a fine performance. He yelled yeah, at his face. Him, he overpowered him. And then he finished him. In many ways, more impressive than an early knockout. Oh, he hurt him bad. I mean, love it when boxers are like not punching back and at the end they're like a uh, just to say face when he got hit with that right man he was done look yeah there's nothing he can do got hit with like 10 consecutive punches and he complains about it afterwards he's like why'd the ref stop it Continues to get the better of Cintron, and he's gotten the best of him totally as this comes to a sudden end. One of those judgment calls where the referee, Hector Afu, 
simply decided that Cintron was taking too much. It's not good that Lopez is um, staying close to the ropes. It's a bad place for him. Just see so much better leverage, more accuracy, and obviously more power from the punches from Alvarez. Not scoring a lot of punches, but certainly scoring. And Cortez wants to say the game factor, that is it. Cortez saves uh, uh, Lopez from himself. Yeah. Good win for Alvarez. He needed to be impressive. He couldn't just win. He had to dominate, and that's what he did. So Joe Cortez doing the right thing? I think so. And uh, even though Lopez was yeah, he's saving him. match now class, he did show a lot of guts, and, and, and that goes a long way in terms of getting fights in the future and being able to yes. still stay active. Canelo Alvarez still looking strong, landing the heavy punches. From the opening bell, Canelo Alvarez has been dominating this fight, landing the big shots. Now he's just torn with Angulo. Bobby and Weaver put his head down, putting the gloves down, daring Angulo to come and try to knock him out. Getting a real big power index, and that's, that's it. it. They stopped the fight. Yeah. Referee Tony Weeks has jumped in and stopped the fight. Look at his face, man. Angulo is upset about it, well, and he's mad at Tony Weeks. They have to play their respective roles here. Angulo has to be mad at the referee. Tony Weeks has to do his job. He brought the doctor in before the last round, gave him one last shot. Virgil Hunter gave him one last shot. Hey, these guys have been in situations where, hey, Levander Johnson in this ring several yeah. years ago, this kind of a fight getting pummeled, and, the, you know, they left it up, stopped it. All of that stuff that Kirkland has thrown didn't have as much effect as those two punches that Alvarez just had. And another right hand, and another one. And I love that Alvarez continues to work the body. Look at these shots. Alvarez to the left of your screen, landing heavy power shots. Kirkland does. Oh, the uppercut caught him coming forward. And this is the first fight that's up three and started. Canelo started him to like at he's a super at high level. Have to take the eight count. So he's been down for the second. This time fight started it all. I mean, other than Floyd, I think you fought him earlier, he's but he's going to fight. He's always going to want to fight. He's never going to give up. But his legs are not there. This time, I don't think me. he's getting up. It's, Holy. Is he counting or is it all over? Now it's it's over. all over. It's over. He knocked him out cold. Referee didn't want to bother the count. They want to get the doctor in there first. That was a right hand that finished him off. How about Canelo Alvarez? Wow. That was a good call from John Shirley. I don't know if Kirkley would have been able to get up under his own power no after way. that. No way. But the duck. fight should have been over. And he was right not to waste the time counting him out. I think uh, Alvarez is actually yeah, a little the way bit concerned about his opponent. Especially uh, oh, about a year ago, an impressive knockout of James Kirkland in the third. Doug, you were there for that. James Kirkland with the perfect style and mentality to bring out the best offense in Canelo Alvarez. Amir Khan with a, a different ring mentality, higher ring. Yeah, Mirkon's good. He just had one weakness. No chin. That is brutal. Oh. Hear it. He's out. He can't get up. That's the liver shot. The WBO Junior Middleweight Champion of the World. What a shot to the body. It was like a cannon. Boom. Downstairs. Fingers tied. It wasn't, wasn't been going away. Canelo reminded him of that body shot and that pain. His 50th fight ends in a world championship. 
Fielding just does not have that arsenal. He doesn't have that arsenal, and he's fighting the wrong fight. But look, he still has this look in his eye, like maybe, maybe he's trying to get Canelo to wear right himself out. Down he goes. Fielding looks back oh. in his corner. Jamie Moore oh. says, "Keep going." Seven. Hey, he's back up. Fielding, come to me. Come to me. He's smiling. He's you aware of time, what's man. happening. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight anymore. He's like, hey, yeah, no way. That was a headshot. He does body and that should do it. It's over. That is it. It's over. Ricky Gonzalez makes the right call. A showcase fight for the biggest star in the sport. That's exactly what it was. Just an easy night's work, and yet an impressive, brutal stoppage by Saul Canelo Alvarez. What a knockout. Stunned him, then straight just... Finished them. Okay, so that concludes that video of Canelo Alvarez. Um, if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one.